On our land, one united resource land, I'd like it changed from Pool's land to our land uh, somehow or, or other name that um, signifies that it's not no one person. And, and in fact, I'd like this land to go from my name to our name to uh, to all the people who can come into agreement to to uh, take care of this place. I feel like I've been a steward here, and and for lots of reasons, it's time for me to to move on and and uh, do things uh, well. Continue uh, caring for this place with a whole a whole team, a whole whole group of people with uh, clunky trucks and and. We're trying to keep it more like a monastery here, but in any case, um, this is Earth. We're on planet Earth, and and I want to thank the Earth for um, this opportunity to to stand up and and uh, actually sit up and, and look around. As Kurt Vonnegut said, think of all the mud, uh, maybe dirt that didn't get a chance to sit up and look around, let alone talk about it. So here I am, walking, talking Earth. Um, and thank you, Earth, for, for having principles that allow me to grow into uh, this moment. And, and thanks to all the First Nation people who, who lived here for 5,000 years and, and showed how it was possible all around the Earth up until about 500 years ago to 1,000 years ago, or maybe 2,000 perhaps, um, how to live from a place, how to be cooperative and, and uh, and and um, and sure, there were fights, but most of it was a display, like the great apes do. Um, and, and and yet the culture was broken by uh, European natives. Some other natives came, and and, um, and and with disease and 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 weapons of machinery, um, uh, changed and and uh, what was working from something that to something that isn't working very well. And so now our challenge is to take the best of the past and to continue together. And, and this is um, an Ubuntu principle, Ubuntu being a Swahili word that is, means uh, all of us together and that, that, um, that we all cross the finish line together, that everyone who can come into agreement and, can, and continue with those agreements can, can play on this game board that I, I want to leave to the whole community of Tofino and Uklulit, Uklulit and Tofino and, and this whole coastal bioregion and all the people who are here and all the people who want to come and visit Tofino and, and see this uh, magical uh, forest and, and, and beautiful coastline, mountains and, and rivers and, and, and care for it all uh, as, a, as a team of, of friends that really are activated and not just expecting a free lunch. Um, in any case, uh, thank you, Earth and Tlaquiat people, that we are here now. And so what are we capable of? This is always the bottom line. And, and, and so I want to follow the uh, concept of Ubuntu, and, and, and which really is synonymous with permaculture, permanent culture, permanent agriculture. Uh, which implies what the First Nation people of all the earth could do, which is live for thousands of years um, without destroying the place, without uh, mining and sucking out the oil and, 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 and making giant excavators that, like cancer cells, are eating up the planet um, and, and uh, to dig big mines and, and, and make a mess and desertify the place and change the climate. Um, as, as well as other factors, many other factors, which we're not really sure of. I'm, I'm actually not sure of anything except that we are here. I think, therefore, I am. And, and that all of these plants, all of these species are here. Uh, some say we're in the fifth great extinction, that we, uh, it's happened because of in a moment with a meteorite hitting and, and causing a, a global um, winter from all the uh, water vapor and ash from the, and, and killing, wiping out the dinosaurs, um, except for a, a few reptiles that are, you know, small reptiles that remain that survived all of that, uh, perhaps at the equator where it must have cleared first. It, and, and, and so now to, to somehow 
and it is a slow extinction because it's just species by species that have been um, dying back. And, and some believe that that unraveling uh, of genetic code and interdependence that has grown over millennia, um, being changed in, in uh, 300 years since the steam engine really um, uh, and mechanization occurred. I, I suppose this is Luddite, um, you know, contra technology talk. And, 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 but now, knowing what we know, can we shift that around? And I somehow believe we can, that it is, that what's really happening here is consciousness, that we are spirit uh, coming into matter uh, and, and, and walking and talking about it, walking our stuff, walking our truth, and, and, and action, it takes action. And, and, uh, and to lessen consumption and to make real choices about uh, how we are here in terms of pollution, in terms of uh, communicating and cooperating with each other and creating the six essentials uh, from every 50 miles, 50, 80 kilometers. There's the 100 mile diet. Well, I think there's the 100 mile everything or 50 kilometers, which it is in this, from Tofino to Yukululit direct is about 40 or 50 kilometers, um, and, and the whole bioregion is not more than 100 kilometers unless you go into the mountains, which is good to have mountains in a bioregion. Uh, a whole range of um, options for, for living simply. And meeting all our needs, the six essentials, which are basically air, water, and food, uh, which most of those were tacitly accepted, um, but now we have to purify the water and the air just to, um, uh, where that one time those that wasn't essential and power is on that list but at one time it was just animal and human power and not so many machines where to draw the line what what, what do you how to we can come back to what Ivan Illich called a convivial technology where we it's friendly technology that we can make and fix uh, again within that local sphere and, I, and I'd like, in the long range, to see this property be an example of how we can do that and, and that we set a template for how to move forward together into across Canada and around the Pacific um, and joining with uh, like-minded people who, who want to do Ubuntu, permaculture, um, communication and, and cooperativity in, in their own region and show how unique and honor all the all our great grandparents from, from the whole earth who could do this and and and, I, and I'm a traveler I'm a farmer I'm a farming traveler I I want to visit um, around the earth and I, I guess the best way to do that would be by sailboat so I better get going um, and, and help link up these, the places. That's my next job. I am leaving here. I'm leaving this to the care of all the people here and, and who care about it and, and of the world who want to come here and, and see this place and, and help this whole network of kindness grow. And, 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 and each bioregion is unique. Each of, our, each of our ancestors had unique clothing that came and colors that came to dye their clothing and, and came to be used uh, after millennia, thousands of years of experimentation and, and practice. The doctors call it practice. So certainly, uh, I suppose anything's practice at that point. Um, and to, to, speaking of earth medicines, to honor the, the plants and uh, fungi, animals that are here, and, and, the, and, and to a good life and a quick death um, seem to be the best model. And to, to minimize suffering, the whole Buddhist concept seems so simple and, and uh, practical. Uh, let alone religion, spirit coming into matter is, is, uh, is just what it what is. Uh, so so that's, that's a huge, all this is a lot of information that, that needs to get collated and, and within each person's life that each of us choose how to go forward and, and to Make, uh, make a life together. Creating a life together, I think, is a book, uh, permaculture, or rather a, I think it's a co-housing book, but that's the, uh, it's a big one, especially at this time when, when people are so alienated from each other and, and from the earth that um, 
it, it may be time to, to take off our shoes and, 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 and ground out just to um, let, uh, let it, uh, and I've been, I, I was, a friend just mentioned this yesterday and, and I've, I've got a, uh, they say I've got a cancer. All the, all the, all the tests show that I may have a cancer, but I, I don't believe it personally. I, I think that I'm healthy and, and vital and I feel good. There's, there's some, you know, I'm aging and there's some problems, but uh, basically these are all, I think, clues and, and, and inspirations to cause me to go forward with this, something that I've, this whole concept that I've been working on since I was a teenager and realized there was something wrong with the picture. I grew up in the suburbs just north of Toronto, uh, Thornhill, Richmond Hill, a little place called Langstaff, the Long Staff, I suppose. And, and I knew something was wrong. I, I wondered what was going on, and nobody seemed to be able to tell me. And, and I blamed my parents. Of course, they were the principal providers. But after my first um, experience with earth medicines, I realized that they were as Im immersed, embroiled, and, and uh, snowballed into this this culture as much as anyone that we're born into and, and tend to repeat like primates, uh, uh, like the other primates, that um, we, we tend to repeat whatever it is we first learn and like a duck following whatever moves for, for the first, in the first hour, that's, that's, that must be mother, that must be mom and, and to follow. Uh, but really the earth is our mother and, and, and uh, to honor this and to now as uh, we've grown up, we're not babies anymore. But it is time to choose that each of us can do this and, um, and proceed in a, in a positive manner to, to work together to make the shifts that I think will reverse this extin extinction trend, that it really is a matter of awareness. And, and that like the bees and the flowers arising at the same point in evolution, there, there was a whole synergistic um, readiness that, that we're at now and that is possible now if we just choose it and, and perform it and the more yoga the more uh, kindness the more giving the less taking the better that um, finally I realized that every that my parents weren't to blame I wasn't to blame personally um, that that we were all uh, complicit in in this consuming culture and that we uh, therefore everybody's to blame and logistically or speaking I get in terms of logic if everybody's to blame generally then no one is to blame specifically of course there are the one percent at the top and the bottom who, who steal and um, for various reasons are so damaged that they feel it's essential to um, continue with the patterns that we've been following in of, of war and, and resource extraction for, for, for more money for more profit and it's well known that another $50,000 on top of a million really doesn't make anybody happier. It just gives them more to worry about and, 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 and want to get even more security because they're feeling so uh, challenged, I suppose. And, and this is, uh, these are all just concepts to, to work with and, and in our own lives decide uh, how to go forward, what we each want to do. And, uh, and knowing that that, that we're all challenged, we're all culturally abused, we're all um, in this together. And it's time to get that picture and proceed in a, in a sensible manner, in a good way. I, I'm hopeful and I am going to follow through with this plan because it's essential now. I, I could sell out and, and get a million or two million dollars and, and go off and, you know, probably just join some people who are already successful in Thailand or Indonesia or anywhere around the Pacific where there's people who still remember how to do things and how, how to make their own clothing. Uh, the Hmong in, in northern Vietnam, I, I could go and live among the Hmong would be, you know, is, is for my elder years. But this is my elder plan. I want to give it to all the people who are here and to instill the, in, in inspire these thoughts here that we, we take care of each other. And, um, and that I, I continue to help and work and do whatever chores I can, as well as um, 
prepare for my, my passing into whatever comes next. I'm ready. Thank you. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, Rama. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, man. I think that covered about 80% of it. <laughs> I'm sure it did. <laughs> Way better than reading my notes. Hey. <laughs> Which, here, let me check my notes. <laughs> Should I forget anything? Hey, oh, God, this thing's still going. Okay, fine. Um, I'll just keep going too then. What does it say? Uh, Dan. Yes, Lily is coming, and Giselle Martin, who's a great spokesperson for the Tlaquit people, especially concerning wolves. I heard her at the Clackwood Action uh, talk at uh, Tofino Botanical Gardens. She was marvelous and, and, and inspiring to me. And, 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 and I, I got a lot of this, these last parts just from hearing her uh, view of the world. Um, so I'm looking forward. And I've sent this to many friends here who I tr know and trust, like Dan uh, Lewis, Bonnie Glambeck of uh, Clackwood Action, people who are, who, who are doing something for the earth, who are standing up in a nonviolent way for, for, the, for kind forward action. And my son Clay, and my sister Lindsay, uh, and um, I've invited people to come here today um, of course, I'm going to see my family in Ontario at a family reunion, which I've avoided for some 10 or 15 years. But now it's time. Many things it's time for. And, um, and I've been puzzling over how to proceed to pass this land back to community and forward to all who care for the earth, according to agreements, not rules, that we may uh, do some video, and here it is. And the BBC is coming, Channel 4. Uh, what's that? Bear... Bear Grills. Grills. Is this survival guy that is very really popular in England. I never heard of him. But there, this team is coming here in early, um, uh, later August, early September to do a documentary on this place. And it will have a lot to do, uh, a big part of the philosophy is based on the Swahili concept of Ubuntu. That the land is not bought or sold. That it is cared for by the whole community of individuals. Each of whom at best, does what each one loves to do in their life and are willing to do for the benefit of all. Now, in brackets I put, um, or maybe share the chores that no one really wants to do, but they do it again to, to help the all happen. And I feel that this uh, sense of the earth has been the norm for the for most of the five million years that uh, Homo sapiens have been standing up and looking around and talking, well, beginning to talk about it, uh, until surveying and separation began a brief time ago, uh, su su surveying for subdividing land and for placing a name on a title of ownership. Uh, was it the Roman, during the Roman rule of uh, linear grid thinking that caused this shift from us to individual uh, ownership, uh, which we are yet uh, culturally immersed in, uh, quite erroneously, I believe. Um, and with technology of machine power, like cancer cells, we modern humans have done most of the damage to the earth in the past 300 years. Since, the, since Watt uh, created the steam engine, was it Watt? Anyway, yeah, probably more like, th I think I learned it when it was 300 years. Now it must be 350 years since that happened. And I feel that we make this shift in awareness, uh, that as we make this shift of awareness in our being, earth beingness, uh, many like-minded people will be attracted to help this initiative to action proceed and help us by all that is necessary to express this philosophy. It's, uh, and get a chance to come here and come to our concerts and, and, and stay in our tiny homes, our, like, one United Reserve, resource everything, and eat our organic food, have a great place to sleep, and, and play. 
and, and enjoy being uh, humans and being a community and being alive. Because we are alive. We're here. What are we going to do? Let's just do the best we can. Even if it's all to crumble, even if the genetic codes have unraveled to a point where we can't possibly continue, let's go forward honorably and still not knowing what's next. Where are we going? I, I, it's a challenge. Could we, sure, rip off if you feel like the end is near and you need to rip something off just to feel a little better about whatever. Uh, I guess that's what you're going to do. And, or you get to choose to, to, to take less. And, and sneak, instead of stealing wood out of uh, grandpa's wood pile, sneak that wood back in there. Get some wood back into that wood pile. And they'll wake up and say, wow, we're, the wood pile's getting bigger. Like we've been burning this wood and it's not going down, it's going up. And, and instead of wondering who's stealing from the wood pile and, and, um, <laughs> and blaming everyone because you don't know, then uh, actually thanking everyone because you still don't know who's sneaking it in there's something about giving uh, without um, uh, ego and without needing to to be paid or, or honored or or anything just doing it that that there's a, a cosmic jest and a beauty to it that um, it's something that we need to learn I, I, I read about this the, the Cree people amazing people of the boreal forest of the Canadian Shield of Canada, and the, who survived in the north with very little, fairly what most people would consider a boring um, landscape, and, unless you have had some earth medicines to consider it with, that um, really these people were, uh, are of the gentlest uh, and, and most uh, capable and uh, dangerous if necessary um, uh, temperament. And, and especially in history, um, I'm, I'm just—it's just amazing what we've been through. And and, and s I think it was Andrew Struthers who said, "Think of uh, humans of the future. We'll look back on this era, uh, especially the war years and, and all these Gulf Wars and all this oil grab, and uh, and say, wow, those bold and brave humans—they really explored what it was." what it has been to be human and, and look into the darkest negativity and the worst forms of torture and pain and suffering. Uh, okay, we've done it. We've, we've done all that. And do we want to do more of that? It's a huge choice. I, we can continue in that lineage and end up with a desertified planet and we're all gone that way. Or we can uh, regrow this garden. Uh, this, the whole earth is a garden of Eden, a garden of eating. and. Um, and survival, and without destroying, with actually encouraging uh, all forms of life to to um, to exist, coexist, and and uh, grow together. All right, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. We're done. That's Yay. it. That was, that was a good addition. I really enjoyed doing that, and. And it did tune up another, okay, 10%. There's, there's always more to say. <laughs> and that's what we need to find out. Like, what, what are we going to do? What is, what is each person's part? I only know my part. And, and my part is giving this place to have it, something special happen. And I hear tinkling in the background. I hear Lev working in the recycling. And better to, uh, at recycling, using, you know, uh, but I think reduce is the first word, that before it even gets to clinking the bottles around, making your own sambuka, uh, pardon me, kombucha, okay, both, sambuka and kombucha, and then um, wash your own bottles and reuse them, and, and, and just have enough there, enough plates for everybody, enough bowls, enough bottles of everything, and and minimize our impact on this planet, minimize our footprint. Because everywhere I step um, is going to crush something. And if I'm using an excavator, it's going to crush a lot more. Uh, there is a time to use them. We're looking at 160 acres near, near the dump, uh, the landfill in Tofino. It's one mile from uh, Long Beach. And um, 
through the national park, which it shares two half mile boundaries with, adjacent to the Long Beach. Oh, actually, where is it? Long Beach. It's the uh, national park. Or is it Pacific Rim National Park? Yes, that's the one. And, and so it's just uh, really near, and it's ja almost exactly halfway between here and Euclid. It's a perfect spot to do aquaculture and get the salmon out of the ocean and be growing them on land and in, um, uh, in containment. So they, they, you know, they can't, and, and, and in synergy and in balance with uh, plants. I think it's 80% of the value comes from the greens and 20% from the fish. That, that the fish fertilizer is 686 or some fairly basic balanced nutrient for the plants which purify the water and, and it, it just cycles and everything grows. We, uh, some very clever humans have figured that out without uh, mutating the fish or making a big mess in the environment. It's quite clean and so uh, and it's been proven and, and I think it's worth doing. So we just need uh, a quarter million to put a deposit on the property, okay, a half would be good. And then I think the whole thing will be under a million. They're asking 990, but if we, uh, 990,000, and if we come up with uh, probably uh, 300,000 and, and then another 200,000, especially based on the fact that many of the people have worked for Island Timberlands that owns the property, and, this, and, their, aunt, and their descendants are still living here. Uh, and the company's already made a bundle having clear cut about 100 acres of this property and there's still 60 acres left that is adjacent to the park. I think it really needs to be a, a, a basic agreement that we uh, protect areas adjacent to those that are already protected. And we want to come in as, as a group that owns and manages this land as, as a, a, a foundation, land trust, cooperative, society, and strata title leases whatever to manage this land and that land that this will close to the random drop-in people just to protect our neighbors in the town and and, and upscale to um, older more capable people who are uh, tradespeople and, and builders and creators that um, that work together and agree to many basic agreements of kind uh, community and share uh, the benefits that, that we can co-create. And, and, and in every bioregion across Canada and around the world, again, um, set it up so that people can travel and every bicycle ride apart, every 50 to 100 kilometers, there's another property that it might be for sale right now that a group of people who are adjacent to that property and one of whom may hear this uh, little talk um, and, and see what we're doing on, on the internet, that we're putting in our budget to help them buy the land so that our members can come there and, and help uh, co-create <clears throat> this um, Ubuntu concept of, uh, of, of, of working together and, 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 and continuing as, as, a, as a people of this earth. Um, that's, that really is my greatest hope and that, and that as this mycelium running, as this inoculates into the earth that more and more people will see and, and follow that imprinted behavior rather than just taking as much as they can get for themselves and, and hurting or ripping off their neighbor or the earth in general and thereby lessen the suffering that's going on right now. It's, uh, it's also basic and yet it needs, it needs a template to, to work with. So. So those people um, who live around a property that's for sale should consider starting to talk to each other and how each of them may not subdivide a piece of it to add on to theirs that they continue to control, but that they all work together and that we would help them to by coming in and doing work and bringing money and knowledge to, to help co-create this and honor all their great-grandparents who survived on the prairies and in the mountains and in the north and in the tropics and, and from whatever was there and, and make everything that's needed of the six essentials of life on earth. David Attenborough and others. <laughs> yeah, there's heroes, Jeff Lawton of permaculture, uh, Bill Mollison who coined the term. Um, look on YouTube for anything by uh, 
uh, Jeff Lawton and uh, so many others. We'll be putting up on our website uh, all our inspirations, all the all the books and and all the um, concepts that that are uh, helped this kind of 